One, two, three, four, five, five years. Happy anniversary to CC Hub Design Lab. One word that comes to mind uh, when you hear the CC Hub Design Lab is innovation. I love how we've been able to take some interesting challenges on the continent and being able to come out with really fruitful and impactful um, solutions. A design lab helped me to be that woman who can inspire different women, who can inspire the young generation. Uh, what do I love about working in design lab? I think I love the ambience, the people, the culture, um, getting to work with people from different walks of life, different countries. I think it's the first time I've worked in such a diverse team. It's, it's a really great environment. One word that comes to mind uh, when you hear the CCUP Design Lab is innovation. We are very positioned to continue to provide solutions to some of the most wicked problems facing Africa today. Uh, especially in three sectors, education, governance and healthcare. We've been able to do a lot of impactful work in the Rwandan ecosystem from supporting practical entrepreneurship ecosystem uh, from the boot camp side of things for uh, a number of entrepreneurial programs in the country but also to uh, working with local partners and you know, um, stakeholders to design a lot of solutions that are not just helping Rwanda but also scaling to other parts of the continent. So it's been an amazing five years of multidisciplinary collaboration, um, stakeholders engagement, uh, and also entrepreneurial acceleration for the ecosystem in Rwanda. My experience at CC Hub Design Lab has been great. It has, it has been um, adventurous, had involved a lot of growth, getting to work with different talents from different teams, engineering, design, comms, people. So just a blend of those has really um, taught me a lot. Design Lab helped me to have uh, some good opportunities of working on different projects. So I can just now, I have the idea of tech can be used in normal life, in health, education, agriculture, in many fields. I started as an intern, right, in uh, back-end uh, development. And one thing I can tell you is that when I joined CC Hub, I did not know uh, about anything. But I had great uh, mentorship from the, the person who was leading the engineering team. So I grew from them by a lot of challenges and a lot of uh, being tested a lot. I failed a lot. I realized my mistakes. I learned from that and I'm who I am right now. And I'm so uh, excited to say that right now where I am, I'm the engineering lead of CC Hub. One of the projects that I, um, I'm really proud of that the design and engineering team of the Design Lab worked on is GoVote, an electoral information and an education platform that informs and educates uh, the electorate about their rights, about the electoral process, and what is their responsibilities as citizens uh, as they prepare ahead of the Nigerian election. We've had more than one million engagements on the platform. Uh, and there's also the incorporation of a course on the platform where you can you know, go there, take an independent course on electoral procedures, uh, behaviors during election, your rights and your responsibilities as a citizen. The second one is called SNA, the Social Network Analysis. So we uh, capitalized on social network and uh, particularly uh, on Twitter at the time, in 2020, uh, Twitter offered a free uh, open source API where we would be able to gather uh, aggregated data like number of followers, number of following, right? And uh, the number of times uh, I've engaged with uh, different accounts on Twitter, right? Which is now X. So we use that data Right? And uh, we kind of capitalized it and we identified something uh, on Twitter which was uh, people who are so suicidal on Twitter. Out of all platforms, we saw Twitter, if someone wanted like, to commit suicide, they would like, tweet about it or something or would, would address it, right? And we, so we, need, we wanted to offer help to, to these uh, individuals, right? So we 
partnered with uh, Mentally Aware, right, in Nigeria, and uh, where we used our platform or how we engaged with the Twitter API to find out who this suicidal person was engaged with a lot in their past, right? And we provided a list uh, from top to low so that these top people, uh, mentally aware, can reach out to them so that we quickly uh, ad we'd quickly uh, find this person and offer them help based on their close connectedness with uh, the people they're engaging with on Twitter. One of the projects is the COVID practice management system. It came at a time when there was a lot of uncertainty around work, you know, around healthcare, and being able to build that platform and deploy it across um, three test centers um, in Nigeria at the time was very, very interesting. Uh, we had also a lot of impact at the time. We didn't know the amount of impact technology we have in healthcare. So, it was very impactful from pushing us to think outside of the box to supporting medical staffs. We were also like, it was almost like we're on the front line supporting um, these medical staffs to ensure that they're able to collect the data, read the information, and also communicate that information to, um, to the people who need that answer. It was very, very, very impactful. SCI, which stands for Social Connectedness Index. So it sounds complicated, uh, but uh, the idea is to provide opportunities to African traders, right? Where they can uh, venture into possibilities on what to trade and what to import and export within Africa. There are a lot of products that these traders don't know where to get from. So what we did, we had a lot of data that was provided to us by Facebook and we used that kind of uh, connectedness to see the opportunities within Africa based on uh, uh, what people need on social media, the conversations there, we just kind of mapped it out and were able to come up with an uh, index that uh, where we identified like something like tea or coffee, where it's, where it's needed mostly and where it's produced mostly based on this big data that Facebook provided us. And we leveraged this and created a product where we provide uh, possibilities for traders to trade. The Africa Epidemiology Network, aiding. It was one of the projects we saw a need for, also tied to the pandemic. Um, co this was post-COVID and we're like, okay, how can we ensure that, you know, the continent is not startled by issues, you know, by this kind of issues. So from building the platform to onboarding over 400 research, data scientists, um, public health practitioners on the platform um, to spearheading a lot of capacity development programs. We had over 15 or more at the time and also using that project to launch the Facebook um, epidemiology design challenge at the time was also very interesting. Uh, we also got to get like real-time feedback from not just healthcare workers but also from different participants who were involved in that hackathon and challenge. So very impactful project. It gave me like a new perspective around how we can leverage technology and data science for you know, public health care and improving health outcomes on the continent. My favorite part about working in the design lab is the space in the design lab. It's so beautiful and it's so engaging. It gives a room of kind of freedom to work and a mind space that is engaging. I love the ambience, the people, the culture, um, getting to work with people from different walks of life, different countries. I think it's the first time I've worked in such a diverse team and being able to pick the different cultures and interacting with people has been the best part of working here. It's, it's a really great environment. My favorite thing about working at the Design Lab is collaboration. Um, all the teams at the Design Lab, they work hand in hand. Nobody is an island. I would believe um, collaboration is a new competition. My favorite thing about working at the Design Lab is the people, first of all. 
CC Hub in general, the people and also the space. We do have a very cool space. I like it. Coming every day to meet these interesting guys from diverse background. The design lab has multidisciplinary people. One day I'm talking to someone in comms, another day I'm working with someone in healthcare, um, another time I'm talking to researchers. I'm just very happy to be part of this kind of team where we use this um, uh, critical thinking to find uh, or to come up with a tangible solution to different community problems. Happy anniversary to CC Hub Design Lab. Happy anniversary. It's a Kurunzizai Nyakitano Kuri CC Hub Design Lab. Happy anniversary!